Well, hello, Carrie. Hi. How's it going? Good. So going happy great. to have you here at the Cracker Barrel. Thank you. Tribute to you. Yes. So exciting. So much new going on. New album, new tour, new baby on the way. Yeah. Oh my gosh. A lot. A lot. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on. Speaking of new album, let's talk about it. What makes this album, Cry Pretty, so special to you? Um, I feel like we just kind of said, you know, there, there are no rules. Like, what, what music do we really want to make? And um, Is that liberating? It is. It is. Just to kind of, and it, it's, it's fun and it's nerve-wracking to, like, go in and start a new project because you're like, what am I going to write? Do I have anything to say? I don't know. Like, how is this all going to shape up? And I, I'm a planner. I just love to have everything, like, laid out in front of me. And um, creative things just don't work like that. So you kind of have to just let it You're go. Like and, magic. Yeah, and then just kind of go in and see what happens. And um, just started writing, started kind of collecting songs and figuring out some sort of direction. And um, just uh, ended up with um, just a lot of music that I'm very proud of and co-produced for the first time. How was that? It was, that was the it scariest was part of produ co-producing and the most exhilarating part of it? Um, I think the scariest part was just that I was kind of in uncharted territory for me and um, and going in and wanting to do a good job and I'm like okay you know I've I've written so much for this album like nine of the 13 songs were my co-writes and then um, now I'm co-producing I'm like if this doesn't end well it's all my fault yeah <laughs> um, but then if it does it's all my fault too it's all my fault <laughs> um, and it's it's something that I'm really proud of and feel like I can really you know, take full ownership of. And um, it's been fun just kind of being in every aspect of everything and, you know, f coming up with concepts and stuff for album artwork. And I mean, what a everything. creative idea for the Thank you. beautiful tears. Yeah, it was just kind of once I, I started thinking about Cry Pretty, the song being the title, um, I just had images in my head and just started started Googling and I'm like, what, what, what glitter is out there? How much glitter can we use? We gave you glitter chairs today. I know, thank you. Always That's all great. the glitter. So what was your favorite part of making the album? Did you have one moment that really stood out to you? Um, I mean, the end was great because <laughs> then you're like, I'm done, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, sharing the music is both nerve-wracking and exciting. It's just like sharing your children. It is. I mean, it's something that you've been working on for a long time and, you know, kind of in secret because you don't want to let everybody see and hear everything before it's done because um, that's kind of hard to be like, but we're going to change this and we're going to do this and we're going to add this and you really just want to You don't need extra pass it opinions. all over. Yeah, when it's when it's all it's all done. So, I mean, that was that was exciting and, and very very nervous time. Do you have a favorite song? I, I don't think I have a favorite. I mean, it, it might depend on the day. Um, I do love Cry Pretty. Um, I love the just musicality of it, and I love how the band guys were just, you know, just going at the end. Like, we had no idea how long the song was going to be, um, just because we wanted them to feel it out and see what would happen. But, um, you know, that that's definitely one that's that's special. I noticed that Mike's giving you a run for your money on that song. You posted him singing it on your Instagram. I'm like, he might be stepping in. I don't think I have to worry about him overshadowing me in the music department. He gives um, it his all, though. He does, and yeah. you gotta, you got to give him that. Yeah. So who is an artist that is tried and true to you that you look up to and have been influenced by? I mean, I think Dolly is kind of a perfect example of yes. that. You knew I was going to say I that. knew you were going to say Dolly. Um, <laughs> she's somebody that, she's an incredible songwriter, artist. She is, you know, somebody that all of us ladies can look to to see how we can take what she's done and try to implement it in our own careers and our own lives. And, you know, she just does everything with grace and humor. And, the um, humor. Yeah, and she she's she's a funny lady, and she always. I love it, it. Anytime anybody asks her a hard question, she responds with some joke that you're like, I love you, Dolly. Like, I know. Yeah, so she she's, does that so well. And she's she's been doing this for so long, and still loves what she what she does. So, has she given you any advice? Um, I've been lucky enough to be around her, and I feel like just seeing her do what she do, do what she does is advice. It is um, how how a true legend 
professional, hardworking woman, treats those around her and, you know, she's she's like on time, she knows what's going on, she's ready to work, like she, she's an example in every way to the rest of us. Not just the rest of us women, she's an example to the rest of us, period.